Can I get some pizza? You're That's not good all I want. You're not good enough. That's all I want. Oh, pizza. Trigger everybody. Did you say walk, walk, walk with it? No. It's time. You know, you know what time it is for time? What? Time for you to tell your story. And I'm going to take care of some business. So where are you going? I'll be back. Give me like five minutes. Not to leave. Talk to the people for like five minutes. Look at that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> tell your story. You got your own story. One of my favorite stories. <laughs> you can't hype up the people now. <laughs> alright, alright. So check this out, y'all. So once upon a time, I was in 10th grade. This is when I was gay, like not legitimately, but just, I, ha I had something going wrong. Like there was just something, something that just wasn't right. And like, you feel me? There was this girl named Autumn Howard. I think Zach knows who she is. Yeah, she was a bad bitch. Like, I ain't gonna lie, she, she was pretty bad. So, and we was in Mr. K's class, like the most lit class in the whole school. Mainly because of me and this mean boy was in it. So, oh wait, pause. Alright, I got a dip in 15. But the continuation of this story. So, we had Paul. Alright, so, we was in there. And like Mr. K, like he kind of a a fuck boy, but like everybody like liked him. Oh, you a, a beer? A beer said he'll be bad. So anyway, he was kind of a fuck boy, and everybody liked him. He was a fuck boy, and everybody liked him. But you feel me? I don't know. He was just kind of a sketchy dude. But anyway, the girl Autumn. This girl Autumn brought in some pizza, right? She brought in some pizza, and like. Basically, everybody got a slice of pizza. Everybody got a slice of pizza except for me, a beer, and some other, like, gay boys that was in the class. Mr. K was one of the people that got some pizza, right? Well, check this out. I told a beer, I was like, man, I'm hungry. I want a slice of pizza. I just want some pizza. And he was like, no, 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 Sterling, don't do it. She, she's going to say no. She's going to deny you. I was like, bro, chill your ass out. All I'm asking is for a slice of pizza. She didn't give it to everybody else. I'm giving me a slice of pizza. So I go over there, you know, walk my black ass over there to try to get a slice of pizza. Walk my black ass over there to try to get a slice of pizza. <laughs> he said, oh, let's split pizza. Yeah. The pizza. So I'm going over there to get some pizza. You know, I'm all confident. Like, you know, I'm like a, a fuck nigga ready to get a slice of pizza. A fuck nigga ready to get a slice of pizza. Go over there. Ask for the pizza. When I asked for the pizza, I got the nastiest look of rejection. Like, it wasn't even, like, a response. It was, like, the grossest look you could ever give somebody of, like, rejection. And I already knew right there, like basically, like I, I just, I just fell to pieces. Like I, I just fell apart. Like, I, I, like my confidence and everything was just went down because I did not get the pizza. I got a dirty ass look as she walked away with the rest of the box of the pizza. I turned back around, and this man looking at the beer. This man is dying. Like this man was like, <laughs> I told you, gay boy, you shouldn't have asked for the pizza. And I, and I, and I looked at him like I was like. Fam, man, I, I thought I could get it, fam. But she, she gave it to everybody else. You know, I, I just wanted the pizza. He was like, man, you ain't everybody else, man. You, you, you a young man. You, you wasn't ready yet. And I was like, I guess she was right, fam. Like, I was, I wasn't ready for the pizza. I was not ready for the pizza. And there you have it. That's that's that gay story. It would have been a lot funnier if you was there in person, but actually, it wasn't even funny. It wasn't funny to me. It was funny to do, though. It's probably it probably funny to everybody else too. But I was just a sad. I, I was just sad. Like, first off, <laughs> we gotta go over these stories. <laughs> this is not true. 
your thing. You came in just when the story ended. I was hearing the whole story. Did you? It was Pocket right. Flash Fire. Clearly. Okay, facts. Let me tell. <laughs> nice camera. Let me tell you guys what happened. Dang. I was not ready for the piece. <laughs> Dang. So, <laughs> it's hope. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what happened. So, first off, it was like a box of like Little Caesars like pizza. And it was like, there was like 30 people in the class. And like, she legit gave it to like five people. She didn't give it to the whole class. She gave it to like <laughs> five people and the teacher. It was like one box of pizza. You feel me? That's like everybody in the class. That man. It's like 30, it's like 40 <laughs> people in the class. So, Sterling's dumbass. <laughs> He says, I'm going to go get a pizza. And I'm like, me, being the psychological analysis of, like, everybody, he spoke, like, two words to her in his life. Dang. Why would you give him a pizza? So I was like, Sterling, don't do it. There's no, like, you're going to get wrecked uh-huh. times three. <laughs> and he goes over there and gets wrecked times three. Then he comes back to me, and I'm like, what did you expect? I didn't laugh at him. I was like, what do you expect? <laughs> like, bruh. <laughs> so it's his own fault, because I warned him. I even told him. I was like, stop being a fruitcake. I mean... I was hungry though. Like all I all I wanted was some pizza. She gave it to Mr. K. Like this dude's a gay boy. Like I'm like, I'm way better than Mr. K. Apparently not. Like can I can I get some pizza? You're That's not all good I enough. want. You're not good enough. That's all I want. Oh, some pizza. Dude, I'm making that highlight. I'm gonna pull this one video. I wasn't ready for pizza. <laughs>